You two, you be you be like too high sometimes. What? Like when I play music, you, you be up there. I need to start playing some mellow shit for you. <laughs> Fuck out my face! Try get mad. There you go again. I'm not looking at your screen, you bro. Get- I'm not looking at your screen. I was just trying to crack my back. You about to get your back cracked in a different way. Keep playing with me. I'm like, bow, bow, Pause. bow. Pause. He's gonna try to break my back open. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. You wild, bro. I, t- I be trying to tell you about yourself. You be wild. It is what it is, bro. All right, you ready? Born ready. Episode 191 of Clean Dishes Podcast. Yeah, everything's on. Uh, hope everyone's doing well today. Blessings and greetings to you all. Hey, you told me you could get him. No, you tried to do that. You told me you could get him. I was like, he well, either just going to be messy. It's going to be good. I had to get him here playing crumbles with the bag and shit. Hey, eat that shit over there quietly, bro. What you doing? Mm-hmm. That bag make any noise. Like, when you put the chip in your mouth, just let shit just sit. And let your, let your enzymes just make that shit just soak. And then you chew it. Don't do anything enzymes? else. Enzymes? Don't stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Some simple shit. Don't do that. Enzymes? <laughs> that is real ignorant. You be like. <laughs> That's how you see me, dog. No, for, like, for this you the light you see me in. This the light you see me in, bro. <laughs> Introduce us, bro. I don't, I don't know who I am. You, no you know what it is, Mister Fantastic. Bounce back like elastic. Don't melt because it's not plastic. I'm here with the one and only Thomas. A K A. Just Thomas. A K A. Just Thomas. I right, make up more. What happened to Tofu Tommy? You know. <laughs> Never mind, bro. You you sell yourself short. Go ahead. I'm not you, selling myself short. You got a whole thing called Tofu Tommy that he doing. He don't even advertise himself. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Anytime someone says it's cool, it's more than three times, they not cool. Like it's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. Uh, just Thomas. Uh, it's too late. We well, passed that I, point. No, now. for real. Uh, Tofu Tommy. Let's uh, go. Mahogany Drake. Let's let's go. You may know me from certain classics. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> What BBC can say? Keep flowing. BBC don't say that. Jay Z. That was BBC. That was Jay Z. Yeah. That was B. Come on, we gotta be whole historians, bro. You fucking it up. Why I gotta be a whole historian when I can just make history myself? Hey, you know what? I had no rebuttal for that. Go ahead. Yeah, I gotta figure out how, but <laughs> <laughs> shit, don't we all? Yes. How's your week though? How's your week been so far? My week has been good. A little dramatic. Um. <laughs> Not dra- semi-dramatic. There's been a lot of COVID cases, and so it's always been a, so. As you're going to certain places and going to schools, you're like, yeah, obviously you're always masked up. But it's just like, oh, probably don't go to this place because this just happened. Or, or if you go there, X, Y, and Z, take these extra protocols, these extra steps because this has happened. Right. Or try to find. So, so that's become the thing of like, where can I go where I can accomplish my work, but also hide. So that I'm not like around people, then possibly getting contaminated with anything, and like get having close, basically try to avoid close encounters, but still being able to work. That's the main thing. Of the third kind. Mm-hmm. Close mm-hmm. encounters of third kind. Yeah. I've been this bitch messed up. Like I'm about to do a B and E, dog. B and E, B and E, baking the eggs. No, nah, breaking, entering. I know. I was being dumb. No, nah, I wasn't. Oh. I mean, I, I really be like, at my job now, nah, I'll still wear a mask, but like I be having um, a lot more than I did before. You having a what? Mask. Oh yeah, and my right twenty four seven almost. Like literally, like when I got in my car before I walk into any school, I mask up in the parking lot and I walk in, yeah. and then I'm in I'm in a mask like ninety percent of the time unless I'm by myself. That's like the, that's the ten percent when I'm by myself, <laughs> and I'm like like I'm by myself like I'm in an empty room somewhere. And I'm even, like, even my, in, I'd I be like, I wipe down my I wipe down the room I'm in there like I'm working on desk stuff. I wipe down mm-hmm. the room. Usually the room I'm in is like empty room like no one uses it, so I'm yeah. cool. But like if it's a room someone else belongs into or stuff, I wipe it down before I get in there and before I leave out, I wipe it down again so someone else can use it freely. But it's it's been like serious business. Like I'm about to get a hazmat suit. Like, <laughs> like I'm tempted, bro. I'm tempted. Like I'm I'm surprised I'm surprised like Fubu ain't come out a hazmat suit for the public or so I don't know something. Why well, gotta be Fubu? Because Forrest by us, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. That's facts. Oh, it's a nice suit slash hazmat suit. <laughs> A suit. <laughs> so like a tie suit on it. a suit. It's crazy. Got different different styles and shit. Like you know, okay, yeah, it's for your business professional hazmat suit. That's what's gonna be like, bro. That's what it's getting to. You gonna have different styles. Oh, this is your startup hazmat suit. Like for <laughs> real, it's gonna have a plaid. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna be plaid with some jeans. A plaid hazmat suit is crazy. A plaid with some jeans, some denim, so you don't look crazy out here. But you gonna have a crazy ass mask on. What movie was that? 
where uh old girl had a hazmat suit on and she still caught the virus. Oh, probably one of the alien movies. No, nah, it was like a real virus. It was based on it was based on like because like basically the this monkey was a uh, outbreak. Yes, with Dustin Hoffman and uh, some white girl and some other. Now dude. we gotta watch Outbreak. That's a good movie. You it's should... pretty. Good. It's pretty good. That's a good movie. Oh, should... they they could redo that, but what they no, nah, it'd, be, it'd be too much, too close to home right now. That's why they should do it. No, nah. <laughs> like, it'd be going. It'd going as a horror movie now. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it'd be a horror movie now. You go, oh shit. Oh, speaking of that. Oh shit. So there's a uh, this one I might watch. It's on Netflix. It's supposed to be uh, Archive eighty one. Archive. Look, 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 look. Our boy is in it. The homie from. Uh, Why am I yawning? I'm not even tired. Uh, old boy from. Oh no, Jerome, Black Box, and Uncorked. He's in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, salute to the homie. Uh, so, I'm not, as y'all know, I'm not a really big horror person. Well, I'd be scared of my own shadow sometimes. But that one I might. That one I might watch. For oh, sure. <laughs> right. like, like that? That was pretty good, though, huh? That was pretty it good. It was pretty funny. I was Thank like, you. what's he doing? I'm looking like, what's he doing? <laughs> I was like, oh, you see it too? That's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't be scared. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. <laughs> yeah, look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, he's playing too much, bro. Like, oh, he's cool. Relax. <laughs> he back. I saw you here and shit, but he's cool. Relax. He's a little hungry. <laughs> I tell you a story about one time I was younger. I was chilling, right? And I was in the room talking to a friend that like, somebody had in the house, whatever. And then my uncle walked by and he was like, who you talking to? I was like, Jonathan. He was like... I know this ain't real because you was in Detroit. Ain't no Jonathan's in Detroit. That's it. My uncle was like, there's no one here. <laughs> you had a Jaheen. I was in the room just talking to myself, supposedly. I'm playing out. That ain't happening. I know. <laughs> so you said Jonathan. I was like, nigga, this ain't happening. I know I know Jonathan's. Nick, you ain't call him Jonathan. We did. No, you didn't. It was two of them. No, you didn't. We was like in elementary school. Yeah, I didn't call him Jonathan. Anyway, yeah, so we gonna watch Archive eighty one <laughs> sometime. Sometime this week. He was J Hook J <laughs> J Hood J Hop B Hop like yeah, like whatever you like your name was it so wasn't because that's was what I was the most ignorant thing I could think. Of. I was like Young Gun Holder. So I don't know. Young I'm... Gun Holder. <laughs> young Gun Holder. You already know what it is. Yo. Young Smith and Wesson. Yeah, that's his young, name. Young. That's his gang. That's the gang he was. Smith and Wesson. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the craziest nickname I ever heard. <laughs> Young gun holder. Shababy might be one of my uh, <laughs> I swear <laughs> on everything I love. My little sister went to school and was in a class with this boy named Shababy. I swear to you. And he had I, the I've, name. Heard, I've heard about Shababy before. That's the crazy and part. And the reason because I guess when he was a cry, he was a crier. I guess as a baby, he was a crier. And so it's always shh, shh, shh. So I, I swear to you, I'll never forget. You can ask her. She told us this boy's name was Sha Baby, and he went by that. Because I thought it was Shug Baby. Oh, and shit. it was like, no, it's Sha Baby. Like, shh. And he, that's where he went by. He went by, like, the whole hood called him Sha Baby. <laughs> I don't even know his real name. And that might be his real name. I have no idea. No, that's, that's not his real name. But there, I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. It's black parents. You know how they do. <laughs> young black parents at that. And young hood black parents. They be, y'all be out here with the name sometimes. No, yeah, maybe a crazy like, I've ever heard of. Y'all be like, let me pick a life. verb. And let me pick an adjective. I had. <laughs> be like, let me pick a noun and an adjective. They like. <laughs> I, if I, I could be hella wrong, but I had a friend that had a, uh, she had a baby. And like. Brenda? <laughs> this nigga stupid. No. Oh. And like, we have newborns, they write the names of the baby. And this it's how they write the name of the baby name on there. One of the kids' middle name was Drake. The other one's middle name was Diddy. And I was like. How old were these kids? I was like, yeah. I was like I'm not Diddy, asking no questions today. Diddy, Diddy, okay, Diddy would be more would be a millionaire. No, that's not. No, that's not. A, it's like it's like only a birth certificate. Nigga, I said no. it's from the time frame. That means this was recent. If you saw a Drake, yeah, it was in like the last like ten or twelve years. Oh my god, you saw a Drake? That's that crazy. kid probably is definitely twelve years old by now. Ooh. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn, I thought about that. <laughs> so his middle name was Drake. <laughs> yes. And the other one's Diddy. The Diddy one, I'm kind of like, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Diddy was like the kid's middle name. Diddy? <laughs> Diddy. Like Diddy Kong. Like, like, Diddy, like Sean Diddy Combs. <laughs> I was like, and you know she was black. I was like, I'm not. Of course she was black. You want, you don't, you, well, white people can name their kid. White people can name their kids some crazy shit too, though. No, they the ones that pick nouns and adjectives and shit. <laughs> they, they, they pick job titles for their child. They be like, limo driver. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, relax. There was a whole baby named Pilot Inspector. 
Whose kid is that? Fucking. Um, I think Pilot's a, a fire first name. I went. Pilot. Kid, right? Well, Pilot was a name. Well, his name was spelled that way, but I think it was pronounced Pilot. He was in the Bible. It was spelled with a Y. Pontius Pilot. Yeah, and he was the one that washes, lashes his hands to the blood of Christ. Like, nah, I ain't, I I ain't doing this. What, I don't know what he did. But. He's like, yo, I ain't got nothing to do with this. That's on y'all. Y'all figure this shit out. Yo, I'm washing my hands of this. He washes his hands with it. Y'all gonna do what y'all do. Anybody that says they ha- I don't have nothing to do with this is always hilarious to me. Yeah, I got knew. nothing to do with this. Like, nah, you got that. <laughs> I swear, I'm pretty sure what he did in the Bible. I think he washed his hands like, yo, like, yeah, y'all got I, this. I tried to help you. They ain't want fine. I'm washing my hands of it. Y'all, y'all do what y'all want to do. <laughs> it's like, don't we want crucify him? It's like, nah, like, why? Hey, nah. That's the homie. They was like, nah, we finna. I don't think we should do that. <laughs> he's like, nah, bro. Oh, we gonna do it anyway. Like, it's like, hey, y'all got it. I'm. Yeah, he's like, yup. He's like, wash my hands of this. Y'all do y'all. Y'all got all that. Uh, did you get the uh, what you call it? I sent, I sent the docket to you. Mm-hmm. I hope I did at least. You probably did. I did. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? You just wing it. So, uh, I had the first question. We'll say that for later. Uh, Euphoria is back, season two. <laughs> And this is something that I wasn't really waiting on, but I'm glad that like, I didn't you know. Like, sometimes you get things you didn't know you need, and this is one of them. Yeah, Euphoria is something that I planned to watch it when it came out, but as you said, I wasn't actively waiting because I yeah. had no idea when it was coming back. I didn't either. Because it was going for like what, two, three years? Yeah, because of COVID. <laughs> That's me saying for a lot of things now. Which is funny because when you watch the scenes, you was like, when well, no COVID again, apparently, because y'all was all <laughs> together. Y'all was like, huh. <laughs> Yeah, that was mashed up at these parties. Like, huh? I'm like, pretty wow. sure they got tested though. Them parties was lit, like, like in a bad <laughs> way, like in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were too lit. Like, watching this show made me realize I could never be a teenager in this time period. I can never be a teenager at that high school. Like in high school, I was like big and popping. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna withdraw. I don't know if that was because of the. Th- I don't know if that was just because of the time or if it was a matter of at time and accessibility like because they had the access to, you know what i'm saying like like as a kid i didn't have access to the autumn kind of, like i wouldn't have had access to all them drugs and things that they was doing and yeah it's just the sex and condoms though like yeah but they were doing more than just sex and condoms that was the least of the worries honestly <laughs> that, like pregnancy was the least of the worries there like that is that's, that's true. how bad it was that's true pregnancy like oh i'm glad she's pregnant thought she was on drugs like it's that bad <laughs> you know it's that bad they were like it's bad i was like pregnancy is the least like i'd rather her be pregnant than on these drugs it was crazy. Yeah, that's crazy it was really bad so like so I, I guess I guess it's a I guess a, a combination of both, like them yeah. having the access to get on webcam and do uh, OnlyFans essentially, and then like you, you know, like one girl's doing the OnlyFans. That's crazy. She's supposed to be like sixteen and she's doing the OnlyFans. That's crazy. And I was like, yo, this shit really happens. Like, it, all of them going to jail. Like low, low key, all of them can go to jail. <laughs> and it's like that's nuts. And you wouldn't even know. You like not aware because you're, you're not aware this girl's sixteen. You don't know that. She's in high school. You don't know that. You you get on OnlyFans. It's going to say she's 18, this and third, and she's doing whatever she's doing. You're like, what? That's crazy. That show was nuts. They had all these different dr- like the drugs. Like people are people are like teenagers in rehab, bruv. Like, that's how bad it that's was. That's some people's lifestyle though. I remember when I was in high school, like some people actually lived that lifestyle of like yep. I remember I met one girl, uh, me and her was kicking too. Like, I ain't gonna say her name. That's crazy. But I remember like <laughs> she ain't euphoria and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew her in junior high. We was talking, we was cool. And I was going to ask her to be my girl the next time. And then, like, she was in the school for, like, six to eight months. I just was like, oh, that, that's crazy. Like, shit like that happens. And then, like, we met up again. Cause I ended up never hitting her line. And she responded. And I was like, oh, like, how you doing? She's I'm doing good. And we ended up linking up. And she gained, like, 200 pounds. I was like, yo. She ain't getting that much. But she gained some weight. Yeah. And I was like, yo, like, what happened? Or she was like, I-, I was addicted to these uppers and these downers. I was mixing them. And like, all right, we're done talking. You're done talking. No, you being for real. Talking. Being for real. She did not tell you I was mixing all right, the uppers. She didn't say that. I already bet. I was mixing the uppers with the downers. <laughs> all right, I already bet. She didn't say that. But no, she was like, she was on some shit, and she was addicted. And when she went to rehab, basically, uh, she started picking up smoking. So she had basically ended up eating more and smoking cigarettes. Was she white? Yeah, she was white. I was only asking. No reason I'm asking you that because, like, I don't know. I went to school with a lot of black kids. Yeah. I don't. Recall rehab that, being an option? I know that's crazy. I don't recall rehab being a thing. Like it, it like, wasn't. Like I don't remember that thing. But I also don't know any kids that were strung out at my age. That, that I <laughs> that we didn't see anymore that were strung out. That's why I asked that. I wasn't trying to be. Fun. I'm like plus like because yeah. I'm I'm thinking in in my mind anything any drug that is that needs rehab to get over that's a white people drug. 
That's how my mind works. Like if, cause like for black people, if you need rehab, you gonna be locked in your room until you start getting on the jitters and shit. But if you white, you just go to rehab. I feel like if you were in school, if you're at schools, well now now it's not the same anymore because you can you can get you can get access to a lot of those the uppers and downers if you will. But like when we were growing up, I don't remember that being a thing. Like I don't remember that being like. It was a thing. Is that it wasn't like it wasn't carried to us. Like right, that's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't. Yeah. In our hood, like it, you had to, you had to go to to a white area mm-hmm. to get this stuff. You had to go to a white area to get. They would have it. The kids would have the Adderalls, whatever they were taking it over overusing on and stuff like that. But like black people, so simple. Like the, like the most the most the most that you would have was weed. You'd have weed smokers. That's that's, yeah, what that's it was. Really about it. Like when I grew up in school, the, at at most it was weed, and you only had a couple of students well, who smoked weed to that degree. We didn't crack, but yeah, we didn't have crackheads like that in our schools. Damn, it makes one of us. Like, we ain't have like crackheads like that. I'll put it this way: they want crackhead enough to be like, "Oh, that kid's on crack." You know oh, what I'm no, saying? No, 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 it no. wasn't like that. If they did crack, they did it like subtly. Like I took two hits of crack today. I'm gonna be good for next week. <laughs> they like, they, themselves. Like they wasn't. They wasn't out here strung out. I put it that way. There wasn't a whole bunch of kids strung out. We saw. I saw adults being strung out. It wasn't the students, like you said. Right, right. and that's that's where the access comes yeah. in. Like I had money. I had think. I didn't think others was broke. <laughs> we I mean, so, we was so broke. Like we didn't have. We didn't have that shit. And I mean, if a nigga did have, it, he was selling it to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. But no, like I, I also didn't when I was in high school. I didn't party. I didn't. I didn't either. So, I, I wanted to, but it wasn't like I wasn't out here like that. Like I didn't. I didn't party. I didn't start partying until I was like twenty. Like for real party, until I was like twenty one. Um, up until that point, I had been like a few shingies with some friends or whatnot. We might be drinking here or there, or whatever. But mm-hmm. it wasn't to like, like yeah, like I would say not even twenty. I would say twenty two because I was still in school. And once so after I graduated school, so I was probably around twenty two or when I really started going in. Like we was at clubs and actual parties and shit. You'd be like, "Oh, they do that at parties? Okay." Like, <laughs> he was like, oh, "Let me join like, in." Yeah, I'm like what? <laughs> the reason why we didn't have like those type of white people drugs because like growing up black, it's like, "Oh, you, yeah, ADD." No, nah, he needs an ass whoop. That's all it was. That's the and that is the other, <laughs> that is the other. So part of it, a lot of it was ignorance. Like, I, yeah. like I'm saying, I'm, I was ignorant to the fact that like. There were pills you took to make you feel up and down. Like we didn't, I didn't, we didn't believe that shit. We didn't have nah. that shit. Like we didn't have that shit. I mean, it's, anything I knew from dr- from drugs was from movies and shit. Like because like Facts. nobody in my family was like, "Yo, I'm about to go pop these right now." <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have. I wasn't surrounded by that at all. Like and I didn't hang out with people from school. Like I, I, high school, I don't really think I hung out with anybody outside of school like that. Like for the most part, it was I went to school. I had friends in school and some of them sent me. We hung out at school. Like, da, da, da. We might take our time getting home, mm-hmm. but we didn't. That's like, I wasn't like, I didn't go to a lot of my friends' houses. Like I think I've been to like one of my friends' houses once mm-hmm. and that was for a graduation party. Um, like, a, like a little graduation shing thing kind of thing. Like it was like, oh, his parents was there and they had cooked or whatever. And I came in and said hi to everybody and stuff like that and we was down in the, everybody was in the basement or whatever, just talking, having some fun or whatever. Right. But outside of that, I think I might have went to one of the friends' house one time to pick up a game, and that was it. Damn. Like, I didn't really. So, so for me, that was never that was never a thing. So it could have been there, but I didn't hear a lot about it. The most I heard about was just people smoking weed. That was it. Yeah. So euphoria definitely makes you be like, "What the hell?" Like that's, like, damn. Like these kids. I mean, these kids are on mad drugs. They have mad alcohol. And the crazier part about it is because what are they in Cali or something like that? Yeah, they in California. And and so what happens is these kids are like. With parents that have that have seemed to have money, because wherever they were, like in this one particular one, mm-hmm. they was in a house with money. Like, like whoever had this house had money. They had a very nice house or whatever, and they just left the kids there. Just left the kid there, and like they didn't leave the kid. They left, they left the kid there, saying, "I assume they was like, yeah, don't be throwing parties." I, whatever they did, they left. They left the kid there, knowing damn well this kid is going to get into the party. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I was like, it was hell alcohol there. I'm like, like what the like that alcohol, super bad shit. Like drugs and it was New Year's. Yeah, that's what it was. It was New Year's. So that's what I'm really like. You left this kid there. You're not going to tell the kid you're not going to have a party on New Year's? No, that's they crazy. left that kid at that party. That's the thing, bro. Like, they was like, go ahead and party. I didn't know they let that kid at that party, bro. There's no way you throw a party. This is like, man. That, that was a crazy party, too. That was like a wild party. That's what I'm saying. And you be like, damn, like, they're getting down. And you're like, this is high school. This is, this is supposed to be high school. That's, that's some kids' lifestyles, bro. Yep. That's that, scary to think. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I can never be. I cannot be a kid in 20 years. It's 2022. Yeah. From 2020 on forward, I can never be like a kid. Like no. Like y- y'all got all that. Like. I would say I'm trying to think when Facebook became real big. 2022. No, like when I don't even know. I'm gonna say 2010. If I'm just guessing, but it probably was before that. Because because even when I was in high school, it wasn't popular. I would say the whatever year it was. 
that high Facebook got real big, I couldn't have been a student. I couldn't have been a high school student. No is, that, is that when face, Facebook was about the Addy Silk party? <laughs> is that what happened? Can't have, can't have party about Addy, though. this introduction. Oof. He was like, pow. Like, yeah. You no, know, because at that point, you had all this, all the uh, cyber bullying, if you will, and all that That's extra shit. That's what I'm saying. Shit. All that shit? No. I couldn't have done that. Social, cause once Facebook popped off, everything else was like, pow, 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 pow. like nah, I'm good, bro. Not, not even that. The idea of... Let's say take away your cyber bullying. The fact of like you have all access to everything in your phone and you kind of like on social media so much, you kind of think like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be as a person. Yeah. So you had body image issues and shit, or what she's supposed to be, and how, what cool is. And major, doing, major. Yeah, and like, that's, that's nuts. Major image issues and shit like that. Major image issues. Didn't touch on that a little bit in Euphoria in the first season? Because old girl kind of was like, trying to be something that she wasn't. Yeah, because she thought she was supposed to be. Yeah. And that's That's what a lot of us are. A lot of us... A lot of us as humans are are in this realm where we always feel inadequate in our bodies. Facts. Like super inadequate. And so like you'll see us undergo surgeries and be be all kinds of butt lifts and do even dudes. Dudes do it too. They get face structures. Would you get BBL? Don't worry about it because I know you can answer that question. It's cool. Go ahead and see what she was saying. Yo, this is my episode 191 of Clean the Dishes. I want to thank you guys for tuning no, in with chill, us. No, chill, chill. Yeah, that's said, what I'm thinking. I'm I thinking said, don't chill. worry about it. That's I, my fault. That's my that. fault. That's my fault. Just keep me going. Just keep, just keep going. <laughs> my fault. Like, I'm going to edit it out and everything. I'm going to make it. No, I ain't going to edit it out. You're going to leave that in there. You're going to leave that second here kind of questions you be asking. What? What? What you mean? But no. What was that, what was that conversation could take us to another level, bro? What, what level was that going to take us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like no, nigga. But no, it, that, that's that's a real thing. Like, as you, to to your point, what you said that the body dysmorphia and and things like that is real. Like, people really be out here, all kinds of surgeries and all kinds of makeups and lashes and and dudes getting wigs and toupee thingies, whatever they call them, Jones. That he getting the dudes getting some ones too now. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Them Jones, and they get them. They get like I forgot they call them. They that's put like them. more for older people, but yeah. No, there's young guys doing it. Young guys are getting them too. No, young, you're not. If they're like b- having like balding issues and stuff, instead of shaving their heads, young guys are purposely going out there and getting like these, nah. These how stingies. old are you? How old are you being bald in high school? Not high school. I mean, just in general, like, like it could be like. Well, high like if you adult, that's different. I, I do each other thing. I think. It, I think it's everywhere. I mean, if you're an adult, kids are looking at you. And yeah. so if you're doing it, they're going, okay, I guess there's some else to be doing. <laughs> Yo, if you bald in, the, in the high school, bro. You could have alopecia or something. It could be making you bald. You Which is still, that's different, though. That's different, though. If you have alopecia, you probably would. Like, that means you something's wrong, and so you're okay. losing your shit. So you probably would probably try to get a cover up or shave your head off. I don't know what you it was. You put me on something new. Or I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called, Am I wrong? It's not called alopecia where you lose your hair? I just know you, that. You, you, you get patches of your hair go missing? Like, you see people balding in spots and stuff? I thought it was called alopecia. I remember when I got my locks cut, my uh, my barber was like, hey, like, you want to keep your locks? And I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I remember, like, some people keep their locks, and they don't like, they don't like it what they did with their hair. They just keep the locks and basically try to like reconnect it. And I was like, no, I'm 30 some years old. I can just grow my hair back. Well, maybe you can't. Then you know I'm rocking. <laughs> I'm rocking a ball hey! head to Philly beard. I'm just gonna have it. I'm gonna have uh, at it. Yeah, I gotta go Philly again and get my beard. I left that shit on the plane. <laughs> I left my airport. I left my beard in the airport. I'm gonna fight a Philly, get some dirt, rub it in my face, and that's thing you bro, see. Bro, I don't know what they do over there to get their they facial hair. I really don't like. Philly beard is iconic, bro. Like for real. <laughs> like, like, people, are you not from Philly? Where your beard at? Like, that's the craziest <laughs> I've ever heard. Like, that is. I swear, y'all heard people like, you sure you from Philly? I'm like, yeah, do I wear your beard? I'm like, the fuck. Like, let me go get it in my backpack. Like, nah, I put it away in case somebody was uncomfortable. Like, has, nah, has anybody that's... ever like hit you up with that before? Where's my beard? Yeah, I never actually got hit. Somebody they be like, they just like you really fulfilled by yeah. They be like, and they might joke about, oh, you ain't got no beard. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's all. That's what I know Philly niggas for beards and like uh, Jehovah Witnesses. No, this is not Muslim. Mo- Muslim. Nigga, I'm, I'm like, that's Muslim. That's no, no, no disrespect. No that disrespect. Is the, that is the thing. Everybody's Muslim. They go yeah. to church and like I'm Muslim. I'm like, how the fuck? Okay, it's only East Wine. That's what Muslim is. Don't eat swine. I'm telling you what they be thinking, bro. I'm just going with that. I know it's more to being Muslim than not just than just not eating swine. It's more. It's like reading books and shit too. Go to sleep. What? Go to sleep, yo. Just, just go to, go to sleep on the podcast. Just, what? Go, to sleep. just go to sleep. Just don't it's snore. It's reading not fundamental to being Muslim. Reading is fundamental to life. Facts, but 
I feel like it's more important to Muslims. How? You ask them, bro. I'm trying to tell you the math and you ain't trying to calculate. Ooh, that was a good one. That was. That, that was. <laughs> that was. I'll be believing that you was, when you say that, bro. That was. It, was. it was a good one, bro. Thank I'm you. Not, right. gonna, that was a good one. Thank you. I'm glad you fuck with it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of which, so you, you you just heard that man say, I'm glad you fuck with it, right? So imagine you hear this. I hear this quite often from him. <laughs> so one day I'm on the phone with my dad. Mm-hmm. This is like, right, maybe just like a couple days ago. He's talking to me about, about um, whatever it was. I don't remember. Uh, oh, something about voicemail that, that I had set up and he liked my voicemail. He thought it was really cool or whatever. And I was like, oh. And I literally went, I'm glad you... F- I'm glad you like it, Dad. I really was about to say to my dad, I'm glad you fuck with it. I was like, yo, I'm gonna kill Thomas, bro. I was, I literally was like, I'm glad you, f- I'm glad you, you like it, Dad. Are you not glad he fuck with it, though? Yeah, I am. All right. Like, so. But so I'm not gonna say, not gonna tell your mom, mom, I'm glad you fuck with it. Why well, wouldn't I? Because your mom will beat your ass. Well, she can't reach me right now. Yeah, but you wouldn't say that shit when you when you got back. She's like, oh, remember that time you said that? Shit? You about, it's been two years. Like, ah, remember that time you said that shit on the phone? But oh, mama. Oh uh, shit. I you really I really was on uh, the phone with my dad about to say I'm glad you fuck with it. I was like, oh snap. That's one of my favorite sayings ever, bro. Like, and I know because you say it almost every day, at, at least once a day. I don't you say it s- once a day. Thomas Ussery. Once a day, bro. Thomas Ussery. That's a lot. At, I don't get that many compliments in a day. You don't need to get a lot. You only need to get one. You only need one. You only need one. My favorite compliment, for real, for real, is like me being like, people like, oh yeah, you tall. And I'm like, I'm only six foot. That's not tall. But, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, yo, I'm glad you fuck with it. I'm just nah, that's how he be trying to get me because he'll say, like, he know I'm 5'3". <laughs> so what he'll do, bro, I swear to you what he'll do is, like, he'll look at somebody that's, like, 5'6", like, that nigga's short, and then look over at me, like, at the corner of his eye, but, oh, <laughs> no, shit. That's not, that's not even how that's I happened, bro. That's, that's not even how I That's not what happened that time we looked up, uh, what's that boy's name? <laughs> that was nuts, though. I ain't was Denzel, on purpose, what's bro. What's the name? Yeah, it was, uh, I was sick. John, 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 John David, David Washington, yeah. John David, I didn't want to say Denzel, so I couldn't think his name. John David Washington, right? He was like, "Oh, can you look up his height? I like, look him up until da, 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 da. we looking him up, whatever." And he was like, "He's five six. He's like, "That nigga short, right in front of my face." And I looked at him. He was like, "He was like, oh, because <laughs> that sounded nuts. I ain't uh, even think that of it. I, he's shorter than what I thought he was. No, nah, because you was that like, shit was funny. Be, <laughs> you was like, word. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, I was like, oh y'all trying to say my height? He's like, I'm five three. I was like, shit. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Funny. I was like, ain't no, ain't no getting out of this one. I was, it was, I, it was really funny. It was, it was hilarious. It was funny. I was like, yes. Cause I remember we brought it up because we somehow ran to uh, the actress's height and she was like six twelve or some shit. <laughs> yeah, like, something crazy. Yeah, something yeah. Real, real crazy. Yeah. And I was like, yo, she kind of tall, huh? He was like, yo, she tall as shit. I was like, well, how tall is John David? That nigga said, oh, he five. He like five nine, five three. I was like, oh, that nigga short as hell. Yeah, he said it right. He said it like that, and I said to be around. I was like, where? And then he was like. Oh, I never, I never, I never even think about your height. You know what I'm saying? Because you, be like, I usually don't think about my height until someone like talks about height, and I'm like, well, I'm only five three, and they're like, this person's short, so I might be like, I'm short for a tall, but like I'm tall for a short person or something like that. Yeah, because like your your lore and your legendary status is much bigger than whatever height. Hype people me give up, you. hype it up. You know what I'm saying? There I'm you trying, go. I'm dig, trying, dig yourself you know out. Dig yourself out. <laughs> dig yourself out. Dig it out. He's I'm digging out. I'm digging I just out. Climb out. Huh? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I can just climb out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm over 5'3", so I can just get out this whole crazy. Like, oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's inner as shit. That is pretty funny. Dig me digging a hole. I'm digging the deepest ditch ever, but nigga. This is to my shins. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know it's a good movie that I kind of like... Don't say ants and be mad. Nah. I'm about to say, don't try to play me by ants. I'm like, nah, nigga. Holes. You know, I really watched that. <laughs> For real? Yeah, with um, Shia LaBeouf and... What's the other kid's name? Cleo. Patrick. Oh, Lord. Cleo Thomas? I was in blood. Is his last name Thomas? I was in blood. Yo, it's so important to her, bro. Oh, wow. 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 That's a crazy joke. It's <laughs> a crazy wow. joke. What's that? What's that? How'd it go? They go, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's what sound effect? You is cr- wow. No, that's a good movie, yo. For real, for real. That's a good movie. No, that nigga said it's on Pornhub. This <laughs> nigga is nuts. Yo, something's wrong with your mans. Can you about digging holes? Yo, chill, relax. <laughs> something wrong with you, bro. Yes. 
Oh shit, that was funny as hell. You so stupid. Nah. Oh my gosh, he said. I thought it was on phone hop. <laughs> nah, but you for you though. That's basically like me watching the show. Every episode I watch, I'm always like, damn, I can never be a kid in this generation. Like y'all got this. Yeah, one thing. I'm always glad that I grew up when I did. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I yeah. never go back. I, I don't think I've ever been like, I wish I was back then or whatever. Like you know, it's it's just like no, everything went the way it was supposed to go. Yeah. Like it, and then, unless we're talking about being able to enjoy a certain time frame, like the '80s, I would like to be on a music scene for that. I'm not gonna front. I'd like to be on a music scene for that. If yeah, I, you a pop lock and dropping, dropping and dancing ass nigga, that's why. Pop lock and drop it is crazy. But you yeah, a pop lock like, and dancing ass nigga. That's what I His name say. is Cleo Thomas. He was zero. Oh, was he really? Yeah. I shot to the homie Cleo. Hey, but I'm blowing my cotton reading. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, give me some help. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I would go. I probably like, I wish I could go back to like cherish some things more, if anything. What would you cherish more? Uh, Just my youth overall, because I didn't get to go outside like that. Like, I hear a lot of stories about how people just was like, they just went out and like was a part of a lot of things. And like anytime it's volatile with money, they just like found a way around it. I wish I did more of that dumb shit. I I don't um regret not going out as much. For real? As far as like being because I went out with my family and stuff like that. And I went out with my like my sisters and stuff like that. Or my cousins. I hung out with all my cousins or friends from my block. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> Family I, love you and shit. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have crazy. family love. I forgot you ain't. No. Love you, mom. <laughs> love you, dad. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. I ain't say nothing. But you went out a lot with your family though. Yeah, I went. Out, I went with my family more than anything else. I didn't really do a whole lot of um. So I only went to summer jam once. I, I didn't I, go to, like summer jam and stuff like that. I wish I did. I wish I did more of that. I wish I would have like just been like more out there and shit. That's all I saw. I wish I really did like. You know what I do wish I probably if if it was one thing I kind of wish I did do more of probably mm. it probably be uh macking hey, you don't remember that shit it was nah. uh, where's that from ch- was it chilling and hanging <laughs> from fresh what was he saying remember fresh he I do like, remember a movie he was fresh. like um I got the dope moves da, 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 da. and then it was somebody being like macking and hanging oh, was that fresh or was that uh I was being watching the wood. fresh. You know, watches I seen the wood. I don't remember which that from. Never. Why was it called the wood? That's where it was. It was like the area. I think the, I think oh, the wood was the area. That was the okay. place it was from. I thought it was, that's something. They called it different. the wood. That's what I don't. You know, I don't like. <laughs> I just I don't like. I have no idea. You know, I can't even put it in words. I'm a. Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna say it anyway. I like the idea of people from New York. Like they make it seem like if you ain't from New York, you missed out on like life. And honestly, like I get it. Like it seems like when you like live in New York, you can just do anything. Like you go outside, and the world is available to you. You can go to any borough and shit. Um. Mm. And also, now think about it though. Like with New York being so close to everything, like you had like New York, Philly, Maine, like everything was so close to one another. New Jersey, like you can go anywhere in New York. Is what it seemed like, but the arrogance of New York is what I don't like. I will say I've been in New York, and I can definitely say and tell you, like you. You definitely New York is one of those places where you could have went to New York and hit a little China, little Chinatown, mm-hmm. or a little Pakistan town, or a little like like I'm dead serious. It's like a little Pakistan. There's a little. I don't think they call it a Pakistan town, but I, it's yeah. called Little Pakistan. Okay. You get Little Pakistan. <laughs> you had like I, I'm like Korea town. You had like all kinds of stuff. They don't call Korea town what they call it, but you have these different pockets of cultures and life. Just, so you do get to see a lot more of that, and then you have these restaurants all over the place. Mm-hmm. And you, so food was like popping there. You definitely always a lot of food choices and stuff like that. Um, I went there maybe a couple years back on a Sunday, and I will say when I was there, we were we were walking, and uh, it was kind of cool to be there because as we were going through everything, uh, they were like doing um, mm-hmm. there was like people playing bass baseball, like adult like adults having a baseball game in the middle of the street in the park. We were at oh, we okay. like Central Park, and it was like they were playing a baseball game, and then there was a uh, the permit for that. No, it's a the baseball field. They have no, a baseball you need field there. For everything they, in New York. Well, no, also that, and it's like it's like a team. I think it's like a league. They had like shirts on and stuff, but they were like playing their baseball on a Sunday. And then you had like so had people, permits. all different races of people walking their kids and stuff. You hear the cars honking, all kinds of stuff. Like it's 
Is, is, is it something to experience? Yes. I don't think it's, it's not the end-all, be-all. Because, I mean, you can get that anywhere you go. Like that's, that's the part. It's like, they make it seem like, if you ain't, like, if you ain't experienced this shit in New York, you ain't experienced it nowhere. There's... Like, to what, traffic? <laughs> I mean, but even that, there's there's levels to everything, and there's, there, yeah. it, there's something to, to <sighs> doing it in New York. Because, yeah, there's going to be a New York, like you said, a New York vibe. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a Cali vibe. Like if you want the Cali in it, there's going to be a Cali vibe. Like just go to Cali and go to the pier and go there, go to that Long Beach and go there, or whatever. And yeah, choose between New York and Cali. Which way are you going? To go live or to go visit? Both. So one, one, one you can visit. One you can live in. You can pick both. Honestly, you can pick uh one for both. I know you're gonna pick Cali. I just want to ask you because it'll be funny. It depends on the time of year. Am I going? It's up to you. Uh. Oh, matter of fact, let's, let's make it better. You need to live in either one of these places for a year, wherever you want, in in Cali or New York, or you can like move throughout uh throughout that state for a year. I would move throughout Cali. I would move throughout Cali. Would you uh, live there, or would you want to just visit? Um, I with the way things are going now financially, you'd be fucked either way. It's not, it's not uh, a problem. That's not a problem. Oh, money's not a problem. I'd probably I would probably live in Cali. I'd probably live in Cali. And then I probably visit. I would go visit. I'm from the East Coast, so I, I could just go visit. But you're not from New York, though. So I'm from Philly. Uh, no, that's just that's, crazy. That's different. It's it is what it's not. Like I can just hop skip it away from. I'm hop skip it away from New nah, York, bro. I'm Quick as a ticket in New York minute. You know what I'm saying? I can be New there. New York bro. is like a whole different United States. That's what I've been told. That's what they be telling me. So now, honestly, where I want to go <laughs> is Jamaica Kings, Detroit. Um, <laughs> this guy's the worst. So the joke is, you know, they got Jamaica Queens in New York. So I always tell them they got a Jamaica Kings in Detroit. They don't have that, but I always say they do. <laughs> so now people are like, really, you from Jamaica Kings? I'm like, uh, like no, nigga, that's not even a place. At least not that I know of. <laughs> I'm not aware of that either. I'm so. not aware of that being a place, but no, I think I would go to Cali. Um, Same. I feel like Cali just has more. It just, it, first off, it's a bigger state and it has more available to you. Now, Los Angeles, I heard, been bugging as a lately. They've been, they've been on a different. I wouldn't of time. live in L.A. I, I might live close, but I would not live in L.A. You, I know your thing is like San Diego. I would go like a San Diego type of thing or whatever. Yeah. Like I'd probably do that. I'd go to Santa Monica. If money's not an issue. Santa Monica is close enough to L.A. I'd go there. <laughs> like I mean, sure, and then go do my thing and go or whatever. But like, I just be here all kinds. of, I don't know. I just know one thing for sure. I'm not living where them kids is at in Euphoria. That's a fact. I'm like, wherever y'all stay at, I'm not I'm not living in that city. <laughs> kids breaking your house and sell you drugs. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I'm good. <laughs> breaking your house and sell you drugs is crazy. Like, hey, come and buy this. Like, what? Y'all kids. That's buy crazy. our drugs. Like, what? I'm yeah. looking forward to the season, though. Like, it's going to be fun, man. Sun- last Sunday was was like, that was an epic day. That, that was an epic day for TV. <laughs> Demon Slayer was good. Attack on Titan was great. Attack on Titan was great. Freaking Euphoria. I was like, Aah! my head almost exploded. <laughs> I was like, ooh, we won't have it again this week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the crazy yeah. part. Spoiler alert. So at the end, like, I like I like anybody that's like hard, but don't have to like act like they hard or don't uh, move like they hard. They do their own shit. Pause, pause, pause. That was crazy. That's that. That that what you about to talk about. I ain't, oh. I ain't talking about that. That's what you about to talk about. Oh God. So oh, God. And, uh, at the very last like five minutes, of, like, I was like five minutes of the episode. It's about to get, it's about to, it's about to get started setting off, and like the whole movie starts up. So sets up where it's like, oh yeah, it's about to be like for real. And like Fez is like really about that life. I didn't. I, I guess I knew that because you always had a burner on him. Yeah, Fez, Fez, because you knew the lifestyle that he lived. Yeah, but it's like when they like you live the lifestyle and like you don't be about it. But now he was like really about it. Yeah. And like his whole backstory like was dope, and then it kind of shows like from the beginning of it to the end of it was like yo like. So I get Fez it. is the Mac Miller looking dude. <laughs> no, because people gonna be like who's Fez. Fez is the dude that like Mac Miller. He do though. He really does. He do. I was like, the fuck you like Mac Miller. <laughs> And so when he gets to that point where he's like, he starts putting fist to fist to face, and it was like, yo, like my man's really, really about it. I, I wasn't in doubt at all, but it was just like my man's like he him at least like twenty times. Yeah, it was it was pretty. You you when you see that, you definitely have to watch the first season to understand why that even occurred. But like when you do, you see it happen, <laughs> and and who it happens to you, kind of like yeah, yeah. The, and I, I always like when I'm watching the show and you see some like. Inhumane shit happen to somebody, and you still be like, good. Like you low key in your head, be like, good. No, because he deserve it though. That's the thing. Like, like with him, if it, if it happened to anybody else, you become like, damn, that's crazy. They didn't deserve that. With him, it was like, yeah, yeah. Nah, he was, yeah, he was a, 
he do a real good job of being an ancient character. Like, he oh, yeah, do a real the, good job of that. The quarterback dude? Yeah, yeah he's real good at that. But this, this dude good. That's why I'm scared, man. But like, you good at this. Like, this might be you for real. Yeah, like that, his, you probably his, enjoy this role. He like, yeah, I'm a piece of shit. I love it. Like, wow. I feel like at that point, he minds well. Like, he, like they, did, they did a good job writing for him. And it was yeah. like, damn, like... How you feel like all his shit was... Uh, <laughs> Was was that lived to? He didn't have a script. He wasn't even a character on the show. That's like, crazy. He, like he wasn't gonna be a character. But he was so gonna be the piece of shit. We just gave him one. Like, wow. <laughs> I think I'm wrong, but I think that he's actually British of some sort. He could be. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> whatever happened? To, speaking of British, whatever happened to that one show where um, it wasn't a British show, but it was the British. There was, I think there was a few British people on it. Oh, Maybe it's about it was, the one. They was on. It's on, it's on HBO, and they were. Uh, oh, they were British, weren't they? The Stock Exchange show. No, they were. They all of them weren't British. Majority of them were though, but uh, the one black girl, she was from uh, the states. Right, right, right. But okay. um, but were they in? Were they in? Were they? They in? were. They were in the UK. They weren't. Okay, they weren't okay. Here. That's one. Okay, it was a British. Okay, I was. I, I can't remember the name of that show either. Dang. Not stocks. <laughs> look at it. Industry. Was it called Industry? Look it up, bro. Just look it up. I think you're right. But I don't want. I don't want to like HBO Indi- I'm gonna say HBO Industry. I, I think you're right great. though. But that that show was like. Yes, yeah. it was, was like industry. industry? Nice. It was industry. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's pretty dope. Yes, that that uh, that show definitely was like yo. I, yeah. and honestly, how they ended, it could have had another season. Oh, for sure, for but sure. I think they, I think they closed it. Cause I don't think they did. I thought they were supposed to do enough. I think and he he definitely was mixing the uppers with the downers too in that one. That one nigga was drinking all the drones and got killed. <laughs> he wasn't drinking anything. He was drinking stuff. The though. one in the bathroom. Yeah, he was drinking energy drinks. Was he mixing too? I don't know. I just remember. Oh, he, uh, technically, um, energy drink is an upper, huh? Yeah. Hey, like, that's the whole point. <laughs> that's liquid upper. That is a liquid upper. It's an upper, upper, upper. Yeah, it got renewed for season two. It, it just, did? Uh huh. Because it was Ooh. supposed to. Remember, it, remember, I think they all just got hired on all like yeah. things and got hired on to their different firms. And old boy had just came back. Uh, The Asian dude. I don't know his Asian name. Asian yeah. He had just got hired back or whatnot. And, um,. And then oh, yeah. they were leaving the party, and old boy was a little bit faded. And he was on his motorcycle he had just got. Yeah. And so I was kind of concerned about that. I was like, is he going to bang out? Because they were talking about that. Had somebody banged out before because he was like fucked up. Yeah. I was like, is he going to bang out? He was he was a wild boy too in that show. Yeah. We're a wild boy. <laughs> we, was, we went deep in this uh, for you, huh? Yeah. It, it, it took us to a place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so our next show is uh, Super Super Crooks. This is an anime. The reason I brought this up because uh, we both watched it. You watched it pretty pretty fast. I was surprised. I wasn't sure if you'd be into it or not. There was there was some parts where I was doing other like I was like getting into other things, but overall I did like the show. That's that's normally you, bro. But go ahead. No, but there's a difference of like I like the show, but there's something I'm doing like I like I need to be doing versus I'm losing interest and I'm doing because like losing interest is like. I'm like completely just like mm, like I'm not even running it back. <laughs> like if I'm watching something and I don't even run it back, like I have no interest in this whatsoever. Yeah. If I'm running it back, like I'm running because usually whenever I did that, I run it back. Like hold on, I'm running this back right quick. That show was good. I liked it because it it showed a side. To, it showed the human side, the villains. Like these people were still were yeah. all human. They weren't like none of them were aliens or from another planet or anything like that. They were all human beings. Who just happened to have these abilities? They don't really specify how people did or didn't. They just said some people had abilities, and it was like <laughs> talk about a little bit, but yeah, right, like very little. And then I, I, a lot of people decided to be heroes, and so there was very few villains and stuff like that. So it's basically the villains are the underdogs in this. Yes, it's about them trying to like not even make a rise, just just, just get some money. Like I was trying to get they, yeah. they trying to use their powers in a way. You know what I'm saying? But they're not trying to be signed up to nothing. It was pretty cool because even though they were they were almost anti heroes in a sense because they weren't. They were bad guys, mm-hmm. but they were also going against other villains. You know, what I'm saying they were yeah. going against other, they were going against other villains, and the heroes are just coming block them. They're like, "Damn, y'all, 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 we trying, we trying to do this, and y'all blocking us." That's yeah. the only reason we interact with the heroes. Otherwise, it's villains against villains. Anyway, because they uh, were going there, steal from jails and stuff, and also steal from the uh, the jewelry store and stuff. And then the heroes are kind of like, "We got to fight them." But then towards like the main story, it was really just us trying to get back at somebody else who was who was a super vil- super duper villain. I mean, yeah. Like, that's that's really came down like a revenge story. Spoiler alert, I guess. It's been out for like 20 ages, dog. If you ain't watched the show, you ain't watched it. Hey, man, I don't know. It's been out long enough for you to have seen it. Anyway. Say it hasn't. <coughs> it hasn't. When did you watch Super Crooks? When it first came out. That was like, what? Two months ago? It was last year. We in January, nigga. 
I should punch this nigga dead in his head. <laughs> nah. Uh, uh, it came out like, like I'm going to say like a month ago. It's January. It probably came out like either December. i say November. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did... I got hired in November, right? Like last... Uh, the last week of November, right? I think so. Okay, so it was, it was November. It came out in November. Yeah, so I, remember I, I remember I watched it before I started working. But yeah. Yeah. It's a two months, you're right. Long, excuse me, long story short. That's a good shout out. I it is. So basically, uh, Super Crooks follows the uh, story of Johnny, who, one, one, as, he, as a kid, he wanted to be a superhero. He gets up superpower. And then, unfortunately, he realizes that superhero life isn't really what his calling is. It's something else. So. Well. You can't give that away either. Yes, I, uh, yeah. No, you can't. I, I say fuck it. Like, spoiler alert. We just want to do spoiler alert on this one because because you got to kind of dive in depth to why did he discover it wasn't for him? Like uh, what happened? Like that's that's really important. So basically, um, which mean like he just failed. He sucked. <laughs> he just sucked. That's not really what <laughs> he because it wasn't like it wasn't like you picture power and like that. Like he discovered that he apparently had this innate this he he had discovered he had an ability. Right. And so upon discovery, he was like chance practicing it, using it, stuff like that. And then something happened, and he went to go save. He went to go try to save somebody, and he failed at saving somebody. And remember, because there was something going on at that place, at that specific place, which was really not good for him. Yeah, but he wasn't trying to say nobody there. He was just trying to show up. Right, that's true. He was just trying yeah. to show up and show up, like let them know who he was, and introduce himself. Right. First things first, let me get that introduction. Yeah, that was a terrible introduction. <laughs> get that water conducting. That's the only drop I'm gonna get y'all. They'll they'll understand. You'll get you'll you'll get it when you get it. No, and so yeah, ultimately after that happened, it, a lot of shit went down, went bad. And instead of them taking him and trying to train him up, they just put him in jail. No. Nah. He got in trouble and then he, he got in trouble, remember? Yeah, no, uh, he got in trouble. We just want, so you think that he got arrested when he was a teenager? No, he got in trouble first. Yeah. Because when he was a teen, because of what happened. And he was getting shunned a lot for that shit. Yeah. He got a lot of like, damn, no, that's not good. And then after that, he basically was like, well, fuck it, they're not going. And they no one tried to help him either. No one tried to take him under their wing. Nobody could help him. He was just out here like. There was all these heroes around at the time. There was some heroes going on. But stuff. he was like, oh, he lived out in the middle of the boonies, though. These niggas was flying around the world in like two seconds. <laughs> like, he fried everybody in two seconds, too. <laughs> that was a good. Like, that was a crazy. That, that first episode was crazy. Yeah. yeah, it was the first episode. That first episode was crazy. I was like, damn, like. Yeah. This, this is what we doing. Yeah, because the best part about it was like, it wasn't going to be all like. I love when they make a show where it's not all like, oh, Batman punched this dude, but there's no blood. Like, I, I like when I, oh, you broke my nose in five places, there's blood everywhere. Like, yeah. I like that kind of shit. I like, I like when I'm watching that cartoon or an anime, and it's like, yeah. I punched his face, blood everywhere. Like, oh, snap, beat him up. Like, it, it, gotta, it, it don't gotta be like, extra, like I plucked his forehead, his head split open. I don't need that either. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I'm like, pow, you're like, all right. But the idea of there being like realism, like, oh, as I was punching his face, it was bruising up. It mm-hmm. was like, you know, stuff like that. I like that. And they didn't hold back. They were like, yeah, like, people's heads was blowing up and shit. Like, it was like, whoa. I feel like the show was a good mix of, like, real life and also just a superhero, superhero world. Because it wasn't, it wasn't in a fantasy world, per se. It was more in a sense, of like, if, if people started waking up with superpowers, like, how would it go? And I feel like it was kind of true to what it was. Yeah, that, that it felt it, it just felt very realistic. It felt because yeah. because even how they just had a bit, they all just had different abilities. It wasn't like mm-hmm. again they didn't pick it, they didn't wish on a star for it. They just had it. Because give me the buck, some of the like it almost was an even playing field from the superheroes to normal normal citizens because like normal people like people in a prison cell they had like guns and shit to deal with. Uh, people that had superpowers. Yeah, and they would put the they would put a uh, a thingy on them, a yeah. device on them, so they would not their powers. So. If you had powers and you had this thing on, you was nulled out, bro. Like yep. you was, you was like you said, a regular human now. Unless uh, you was like super strong, so you was just still strong, but like you weren't gonna be able to shoot acid and shit. <laughs> no, even if you super strong, like it would nullify your shit. Like I mean, I, I guess what I means like if you had a big build, like if you was a big oh, yeah. build dude, you would still be big. You just wouldn't be like flipping buildings. I forgot I watched that. Oh no, I do remember I watched that. What? Uh, Eternals. Yeah, you watched that the other day. I did. What'd you think of it? Eternals was, it was okay. It was alright. Uh, it was definitely better in theaters than it was... I might watch it again on IMAX. Like, so they had the IMAX uh, capability, so yeah. they takes up the whole part of the screen. Yeah, it was definitely better in theaters than it was watching the second time. Because I remember the first time I watched it, I was like, this was good. Like, it was better than I thought it would be. Or I, forgot, was... I forgot you watched it with me. 
So full yeah. disclosure, I watched. It. I, I had smoked a little weed before I watched it. Oh it, yeah. And I remember that. Uh, no, that didn't help your experience either, though. No, I fucking should have. Because you was doing extra, and I'd be like, bro, you I was. I was extra. chilling. <gasps> Chop, chop. So this the one thing I would say was, chilling. so I didn't. I, I was trying to do the math for five thousand BC to now, and it, it is seven. It is seven thousand years. Like he was trying to do math in the middle of the movie. Like, hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. That math is incorrect. How would it be seven thousand years? If it was five thousand BC, and we in the year two thousand. Oh. Like he was doing shit like that. He was like something. We trying to tell me some shit about something. That's not true. Do, 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 all right, that's one time. That's about it. And then it wasn't before that. It wasn't you, before. You was like, yo, you like looking on your phone. He's like, yeah. You was laughing and shit. Yes. That was. I don't know. You're on your phone. On the I didn't pause the movie, though. Not at that point, but you were like, yo, you was laughing. He's like, I miss what's going on. And then you literally had to run oh, it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. ran it back. And I was like, all right, bro. You, you can't be doing to me and then really be like, are you really trying to be interested in this? And then was doing all this extra shit. Like, you was like laughing at something. <laughs> And then you was asking me like weird questions that had nothing to do with the movie. I watched and I was it. like, all right, bro. I, I was on my phone for like five minutes. Uh, five minutes, like five seconds. I was like, yo, I missed from the movie, dog. And what even <laughs> that? Because then you was doing something before that. Because remember, I was like, I'm going to go to my room. <laughs> it was that bad. Whatever you was doing was so bad that even I was like, I'm about to go to my room. And I was like, all right, then. You no, can't... you was like, you going to leave me out here to watch by myself? Yeah. And I was that's like, not all right. you? Yeah, that's me. I said, all right, then. Do what you got to do. I'm going to my room, bro. You all was right. I see you later. You was being trash. I was. I was being cool. Ow. That was a good night, though. Ow. He was like, first things first, let me get that Andrew Doug. No, the, the Eternals, though. Um, I like... The, it was a great twist in the movie. I thought that was pretty dope. Uh, I was surprised by that. And uh, if you want to say anything crazy, if you want to give up anything, make sure you say spoiler alert before. I'm not going to give up anything on Eternals. All right. Um... Uh, the twist was pretty good, which I did. I went, I didn't see coming per se. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Because <laughs> it, it didn't fully tie into everything, but kind of have like links. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. This is definitely one of those movies where you don't have to see anything else to right. watch this movie and understand it. I, I like I like that too. Because so, sometimes it is kind of hard. To be like, damn, do I have to watch this to watch this? <laughs> and you gotta watch fifteen movies to get to this one. Right. Although although Marvel in general is pretty good about you being able to pick up from a different branch and still be able to follow what the fuck is going on. Right. They're pretty good about that. Um, I I thought I was gonna say. Unless you're watching like a like a like a specific character story, like if you're watching the Iron Man story, you probably want to do a one, two, and three. Right. Or but like for the most part, you don't have to watch watch Iron Man one, then go watch Hulk. Like you ain't got to do all that. Right. They're they good standalone, just to watch watch as yeah. it is. But um, no, nah, yeah, that movie to me the movie was good. It uh, I I do think um, it. I didn't know what to expect when I first went to go watch that movie. Like I didn't, I okay, didn't, I didn't not know what to expect because I, I, have not, I didn't know anything. Every other character they've always done, I've always known something about right. them. These I knew nothing about other than I thought Homeboy was an Eternal. I thought Thanos was like an Eternal or Celestial or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's as far as I got with that was I thought he was one of them, and so that was it. <laughs> okay. So for me to see, I was like, oh okay, this is what this is about. That's kind of cool. Like, these are real Eternals. Yeah, and I was like, oh shit. I will, I will admit though, I thought the idea them look like the like like. The 1990 XR three Galaxy Power Rangers was pretty cool. They all these different colors. Uh, yeah, they was like they was like the ancient ones was Power Rangers or some shit. That's what yeah. these niggas look like, dog. They were like the ancient one Power Rangers. This shit was cool. The ancient one Power Rangers. Tell me they didn't. It was, it was fire though. I like the way they did everything. Yeah, I liked um some of the some of the conditions that weighed on them. Like they talk about like how how can drive you insane. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. I was like, oh shit. Okay, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought the name of it was cool, and the reasoning behind it, I thought that was dope. I was like, that's very realistic. The hard drive didn't get re- uh, rewiped. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't format for Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of never mind, one thing at a time. But yeah, um, I feel like this is one of the ones you can you don't have to watch the Eternals, but it's good. Like if you want to stay in the know of the Marvel round, then yeah, this is something that you want to watch. Yeah, it spans from like they first get to Earth, Earth in five thousand BC. So it goes from five thousand BC to now, and they sprinkling in spots where like this this is what happened this year, and this is what happened at this point. And because like one point they were like, "Why didn't y'all show up for the uh, the snap?" And it was like, "Yo, we told no hands involved." So 
Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, so it was, it's a lot of moments that you kind of just be like, oh, okay, like this fills in this spot and this information. Yeah. Those niggas are strong as shit. Yeah, they were. They were. It was pretty. It was pretty cool, and then, and then some of the things that uh, the different characters had, like one one main character had to d- deal with, in particular, that I thought was really interesting was about. Uh, and we talked about physical appearance earlier, stuff like that, and how it affects you. Mm-hmm. And so her dealing with hers was pretty cool. I thought the idea behind that, even though her thing was to be to yeah. Anyway, I thought that was really cool how they did that because there's things you don't think about. Um, sometimes when you think about like if you were an eternal, like like if you would live forever or something, what is some like yeah. what age would you pick and why and things like that? Certain things you don't pick think about if you pick <laughs> a certain age. And so I thought that was like Yo, really I think about a lot of shit, but y'all yeah. go ahead. But I was like, Oh man, I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, Yeah, it's a real thing. Like like if you was if you became eternal at this point in your life, like damn, that kinda sucks. You stuck. Like, yeah, I was like, I would that would suck, suck, but woo. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like the balance of the, of the stardom because you had Angelina Jolie, you had Simon Hayek, and you had a lot of people that are like, they made a name for themselves, but they're still growing up in their popularity, mm-hmm. they're still young, relatively. Mm-hmm. And it's like, y'all didn't over, I didn't overshadow the OGs, and you also gave like the moments to the younger cats that are like, who, who the movie's about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything worked in a good harmony. Angelina look, Jolie looked good in that movie. I, like, I can't, I can't think of a movie she didn't look good in. That's some real shit. Yeah, I was trying to think of one where she was like, "Oh, what happened to you?" Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> can't think of a movie ever where she just didn't look good. Like, she, yeah. she was looking really, yeah. But you're, you're, are you to, to your point? I think you are right in how they did that, and I think that's why they picked certain characters. They picked to, to, um, to have condition to, to 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 have certain things happen to them mm-hmm. that didn't happen to everybody else like very specific things that happened to them yeah. i think i think that's why they did that because you know if you think about who that who who it happened to it was pretty smart because it, it allows it allows for the other cast members to kind of get they shine on and shit like that <laughs> yeah it was like cash money and shit oh uh that's about uh is that the song okay get your shine on yeah okay. get your roll on if anything no who else get your shine on get, it's like it's they said get your shine on Night there, roll on is there is a song that's like it's shine on. I don't remember who it was. Mm. It might be Cash Money or Main Fresh. I, I hear Main Fresh voice in my head. Yeah, in my head, that's why I hear. Get your shine on. Get your shine. All right, anyway. But no, uh, I'm looking forward to the second Eternals. I'm looking forward to how everything's gonna play out. Like, cause this I, honestly this ties into the the chosen, the chosen one, the the Eternal one that uh, we saw in Loki. If gotcha. you don't get it, I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna. What'd spoil you say? It. You say we say what? The so the the eternal one. I, I can't remember his actual name, but the old boy that was a uh, Jonathan Majors character in Loki. This ties into that because some hack was like some something about this planet just seems seems different. Yeah, and this plays in it ties into that. Oh uh, okay. Oh so, okay. So I think that how everything's gonna play out is gonna be really really interesting. Yeah. Cause like if I if I hear the lore correctly, this is gonna play into uh, Kane the Conqueror, but we'll see how it plays out. Mm. Yeah, so that means we're gonna have Fantastic Four. It means we're gonna have uh, a whole bunch of other people. I can't think of any names. Damn, Birdman. Like I said, it's Birdman song. Birdman should be in it. Oh wait, you want the song? Yeah. Oh, no. get your shine on. I told you. We were right. All right. Thank you. Uh, so trying to think what uh, what else we're looking forward to this year as far as like shows and movies go. I'm trying. I'm trying, I really do want to watch uh that uh, archive fifty one eighty one. You like, watch that now. I gotta watch. I still gotta watch Miss Mabel's or something like that. Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> you so black, Miss uh, Miss Maisel. Miss Maisel. I still gotta watch that. <laughs> Miss Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely an old black lady name. Yeah, Mabel. <laughs> Babe. Um, Ms. The, the, the Marvel's Mrs. Maisel. Uh, I gotta watch that. This I'm, season four is out now too, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, so I gotta watch that. And I'm looking. That, Gangs of London, and um, Snowfall. So I'm looking forward to. Snowfall, definitely. I've been wanting to watch Peaky Blinders. I'm just not into hour-long episodes. Like... Well, for me to watch a show, I had to have downtime, and I had to have abundance of downtime for me to watch something. You watch, see, so you watch um, Sight or Blind? 
Oh, our C. C. There you go. But that's all. That's like that's a group thing. We only watched like a certain amount of time. Yeah, you like one or two at max on a Sunday. Yeah. Let's see. Then you watch usually because we we got actually we were watching a lot. Then we got caught up. And then we mm-hmm. watched one at a time. But so you got C. Yeah, we did get caught up. Fuck. <laughs> C. C. Uh, what was the one with the girl? She was like a servant or or something. She was S- a servant. Servant. Okay, servant. Yeah. And then we watch what was that British show we was watching? But like I can't watch certain shows with y'all because I'll be talking too much. Yeah, but right there posing the questions. I'm talking about y'all though. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And so like I, I will admit I am part of it also, but at the same time I'm like, yo, like Just because I asked a question don't mean you gotta answer it. Um today I'm gonna complain I didn't answer it, so I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh. Nah, uh Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this anything that's a real like like a thriller or a drama or something that involves real thinking alright y'all don't, don't talk to me but like yeah cause you definitely need the extra time yeah um what? <laughs> you think you funny you need the extra time cause you like to dwell on and stuff mm-hmm, whatever uh what you mean but no like uh trying to think I don't know some some shows I'd be like yeah nah <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a problem watching our shows, but I can't watch like back to back to back to back to back. Unless so I was like, I had to watch yeah. for the show. Like if it was something I had to watch for like, we got watching the podcast and I'm behind. Like I was behind yeah. on Crooks, Super Crooks. And I was like, oh shit, okay. Yeah. So I was like, let me, let me binge this. Some things like 30 minutes long though. And you can just knock that out. Yeah. Oh, great to go. I was watching that shit was funny. That's, that's one of the ones I wish I would have had stayed on top of, but for a reason I didn't. It's not... Cause to me it's not a must see, but it's cool if you like yeah. if you like adding like that kooky shit. It's it's pretty funny, but it's not a must see. They're like fifteen minute episodes or whatever. It's like something you just put on like watch and get a quick laugh in and buy right, back to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's that my shit when it first came out too. Yeah, so it was, so it was very different to what anything else you really watching, especially on right. Netflix. Definitely you know? on Netflix. Definitely. Yeah. Like, I like the personification and that was pretty funny. All right, uh, would you get Super Cooks and would you give Eternals on a scale of one to ten? Oh, Eternals are eight. Duh. Yeah, an eight. Cause it was like, cause it was cool. But I don't I don't think it was very to me it wasn't very watchable. I can't rate it because I, I had to watch it again. Cause I, I was under the influence. So Yeah, I, I, I watched it once. I was like, it, it to me didn't have a whole lot of rewatch value to, to me personally. I agree. But so I can't like, just like say that. Something uh, yeah, you was you was yeah. Was I would say eight. It eight. was a solid story. Um, pretty cool, pretty interesting to see these people, people, their names and their abilities. Oh, it was it was cool. Um, <laughs> I did. I one of the reasons I that probably maybe eight point five because I really liked the idea of there being some downfalls to their their choices. Not not to their choices, but to their to who they were and what like the fact that they were Eternals. They were forever essentially. Mm-hmm. I liked the fact that there were some downfalls that came to that. Because a lot of people don't think of there being downfalls and they're like, you might miss your family. Or something like that. <laughs> like, no. There was like more that could happen that I thought was pretty interesting. I was like, oh, that's a pretty interesting take on that. So I did like that. Um, so I would say 8.5. Uh, if I was ready right now, I'd give like a 7. Super Crooks. That, that's actually a very, that's a very, 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 very score. <laughs> um, super Crooks. I would give that an 8. I get an eight too because old girl was bad. Yeah, she. I was like, like I must be watching this cartoon. But like, why was she bad? Like she was legit bad. I was like, she kind of bad actually. It was kind of yeah. funny. Maybe kind of laugh. You ever see somebody like she kind of bad? Why was she bad? <laughs> a girl being so beautiful that you laugh is always funny. Like, why was yeah, she like, bad? She really, like, she this, really... is a, this is some lines on paper, but this girl's actually bad. <laughs> like, this is some lines here, but she actually she legit was bad. I, was I like, felt oh. I felt weird thinking that. I was like, oh, like that's what make you laugh because you're like, yo, this is just drawings. Like, why do I think she's bad? I was like, well, Rose is drawing. This ain't like this is not like where you see at the street, no nothing. This is some drawings. Oh uh, shit! I was like, but, then, but she was bad. They drew her to be bad. I was like, all right. <laughs> Never mind. Like, even when she was dancing and shit, she was like in the beginning they dancing. That, that's, that's what made it worse. It was like when she was like, dancing. I'm like, okay, let's go. No, she, she, she get it like this though. <laughs> she bad. Oh boy, Johnny was getting it in. He too. was. I was like, let's go. She was. I was like, let's go. He definitely was hitting with the pop and lock. And he's like, that, 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 that. Like, okay. That's really, that's really up your alley, too, for dancing. That Uncle Sam point? Yeah, he's like, I knew I saw this. I was like, oh, yeah, he about to go in. Yeah, I was like, okay. He feeling the beat. He was on key, whatever. All right. <laughs> they was going off. I was like, all right. It's it the intro track and the, and the outro track. I had got those on my, uh, I think I got those on my Apple Music. 
they still not better than JoJo. JoJo's be having some shit. Yeah. Man, they be having some good songs. JoJo be having some shit. I still like the yeah, like the what's it called? Yes, the round round roundabout. Oh yes, yes, that's roundabout. Yes. That joint was hard. Like, oh no, that case in JoJo track. Anytime I hear every time, every I, call, time I call, I, I'm I just get so horny. Like, that's just like that's, I give that song a resurgence, bro. It's so funny because you think about it, you be like, why is this on JoJo? Like my kids is in the room, like everybody, yo, we been telling myself. I about think that's just probably the vibe he be in. Like I feel like he, wherever he makes these uh these animes, he probably had song that was like, that's... bro, because most of it is some like some yeah some, yeah some soft definitely from the past. It's always yeah. song from the past. Never know new stuff. It's always songs from the past, which I always thought was dope. Like like roundabout, I was like, I never would have thought to put that on a JoJo so uh, any kind of anime. That shit, that shit, that's just a kind of not. But that shit, go when you listen yeah. to you, but like, yeah, shit. You made me all about to go off. My to go uncle off. put me on that song, so I when I heard it, I was like, is that? You like no? It's like what I think it is. Yeah. So, that's when you see how it starts. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, it's like you one of these type of jobs, and they start picking up. You be like. Nuts. They going off. Nuts. That's they shit go too. off in that shit, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to think about nothing else. So I don't, honestly, I probably heard that song before I heard it on here. I probably heard that song like maybe 10 times my whole life. I and heard that song a lot. I didn't. That's, 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 a, that's a baby making music song right there. <laughs> Actually, that's, I don't know. Baby, baby, it is baby making because like, ain't no responsibilities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. The first line is, I'm so horny. <laughs> Every time I think about you, I'm like, yo, I'm horny as hell. <laughs> How you doing I'm horny? Like, oh. <laughs> like, Mickey Marcy says, it's my close my eyes. He's like, horny. Like, <laughs> I'll blink, I'll be ready to go. Like, on off, on off, on off. <laughs> Man, he got some issues. Yes. I was like, damn. That's made the song even crazier. It's a good song. It's a real good song. Mm, you got it. That's <laughs> all that's all I got. That's all we got. Alright, well I'm gonna close this out then. Please. Unless you want to ask your question. I don't, I don't. We good. Okay. Alright, a cup of naba. Nah, playing. That was alien speak for those who speak it. Oh word. Um this is episode one ninety one of Cleaning Dishes. I want to thank you guys for tuning in with us. If it's your first time, welcome. If it's your 191th time or something in between, welcome back. As always, you can find me on Instagram and cleaning um, and Twitter at cleaning dishes. On um, Instagram. you okay? You okay today? No. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, my Instagram. My Instagram. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Fantastic. You can find this guy at T Us Reno Junior. On Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. All right. You can find the podcast at, on Instagram at Cleaning Dishes, on TikTok at Cleaning Dishes Podcast. And you can always find out, check out our website, Cleaning Dishes Podcast.com. Um, there you can find our ep- websites, our episodes, um, apparel, all kinds of stuff, all on the website. Uh, anything else you want to plug? Things that you do have up right now? Oh, uh, yeah. You go ahead and check out uh, Cooking with Tofu Tommy, part time vegetarian on YouTube. It's all available. And also, if you're short on time, just go ahead and check it out on uh, Instagram. It's a little shorter there. So. Oh, we got some for everybody. I see that. When I'll do, try. When do you usually drop them? You just kind of drop them randomly, huh? Yeah, I haven't dropped them in a while, but uh, the first five or six episodes are already up. Ooh. What are some recipes on there? Uh, Black bean burger. Hey. Uh, I haven't made anything tofu yet, but I have made... Uh, a mean egg salad. I'm joking. I haven't. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, but there's some, there's some things up there that definitely give you a good idea if you're thinking about going vegetarian or if you just uh, want to try to mix up your diet. That would be something good for you. Just try. If you're interested out. in being a part time vegetarian, check it out. Please. Um. But yeah, this is episode 191. As always, clean your hands. Clean your hands be hands, safe. Be safe. Wear safe, your, masks, your masks and masks, clean, masks, clean masks, your, plate. your plate. Peace. Every time I close my eyes. You know what's funny about that? I was thinking the same thing. Make your feelings so horny. I wasn't thinking, I was thinking the same thing. I'm going to cut it down here. Bring it you as well. Hey, hey, hey. You was wild. Hey, hey, hey. You was wild. Your man was wild. Yo, I was trying to hype you up. Then you turned out. I was like, ah, oh, nah, nah.